Hey, what's up, Visionaries? Welcome back to the ArcVision Fam Jam. My name's Anton. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day because today's uh, support squad request is from Mans, and this is Avril Lavigne, Let Me Go, featuring Chad Kroger, of course, from Nickelback. And yeah, I love Nickelback, and I don't think we, we haven't had Nickelback on the channel yet. But anyway, before we get into this one, I want to say you guys rock. Thank you for all the love. Also, if you guys want to support the channel at the same time, request songs, albums, and get exclusive access to full album reactions definitely join everyone in the supporter squad on patreon for the price of a large pizza if you guys are interested and of course shout out to my supporters you guys are the very best i love you i love you all but yeah i love all of you guys and i also if you guys want to get a hold of myself and the entire vision community we're on discord to find us there it is for free and linked is down below also links down below for uh official merchandise and my podcast if you guys are interested. And that's it. So let's get an Avril Lavigne, Let Me Go, featuring Chad Kroger. That was a gorgeous house. Oh. It's going to be an intense one. All the pain that happened in the house. She's gone. The production's amazing. Really cool shows. But now it means nothing The echoes are gone in the hall But I still remember The pain of December Oh, there isn't one thing left you could say I'm sorry it's too late I'm breaking free from these memories Gotta let it go Just let it go I think her voice has actually got better as she got older because I think this is the same um, album as uh, Head Above Water, which is still my favorite Avril Lavigne song. That song absolutely floored me. But uh, listening to her stuff, like she always had a good voice, but I find there's a solidity, a bit more of a solid nature to her voice in her more recent material. It's just a bit more firm. Um, but still has the power and the shrill, like the shrillness that like like almost so much emotion like, like I, I find yeah almost like chaotic like she's so raw chaotic's not the word raw like avril lavigne comes across incredibly raw just like again very similar to kelly clarkson i, I always say this but i just i find the similarity like in the temperature of their music i find kelly if i was thinking of colors kelly would be a bit more red and avril lavigne would, would be a bit more cool like a bit more blue i don't know why it's like Avril, yeah, there's like this like cutting emotion to her voice that I pick up, but uh, amazing video too, but let's get back into it, and I, I've heard this before, I don't know, maybe it was on the radio, I don't know where I've heard it, um, but yeah, I've, I feel like I've heard this before, let's get back into it. <laughs>
piano. I love the orchestration. gotten like really strong oh my god a whole other minute Her new material is incredible. All everything I've heard by Avril Lavigne's been absolutely incredible, but um, I'm I, I'm just surprised that her new material is so good because a lot of the time, artists uh, they don't have the same emotional weight that they used to. Pardon me. And uh, yeah, her stuff is still is powerful still, probably because she's not completely past it. Like. <clears throat> The imagery in the video is amazing. Like, I just love the shattering of the uh, the hourglass. I love like her and Chad changing the set, the last chorus to "I uh, don't let me, uh, don't let me go." Where before it was like you know, let it go, let the past go. It's just um, you, you could see how that one would still fall apart, just because anytime you 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 beg someone to not let me go, it just it symbolizes that you still have that deep fear of abandonment and you're just going to bring it into this relationship too because yeah if, if you're still afraid of like you know if, if you kind of have to you know if you so strongly are terrified of your new partner letting you go you know you still that's still your story and you're going to create reasons for them to let you go you're going to test them constantly 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 they're never going to feel safe because you're always testing them and then, you know, her with Chad, he's probably doing the same thing to her. He doesn't trust things either. Um, again, that's trauma bonding for you. Trauma bonding 101 is that you're just continuously testing each other. You're putting each other through hell because you don't trust human beings. And it sucks because it's not fair to anybody. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your partner. It's not fair that they have to deal with your baggage. And it's not fair that you have to deal with theirs. Right, so I'm hoping that with Mod Son, I'm hoping that she's she's dealt with that, you know, that she doesn't need to beg him to, you know, not abandon her, that she just feels finally worthy of love, that she doesn't feel like someone is just always waiting to abandon her. You know what I mean? Because even the that idea, like, please don't let me go, like she's essentially saying, like, I know I'm not enough, but please forgive me for that and don't let me go. But like, I'd love her to get to the point where, like, I know I'm enough. You know I mean? There's no reason why you'd, you'd let me go, right? The only reason 
like it's, it's it wouldn't be about letting each other like it wouldn't be about abandoning each other it would just be like hey you know um there'd be like a really good reason like you know i i see myself the the paths in which our lives are going are absolutely incompatible like that would be the only reason to let go and then if she, if she was secure in that moment she'd be like i've i've been thinking the same thing you know and we've been and and again if if there would be a trust where they they'd be in communication they'd be talking about that like you know they'd be talking every month about like you know kind of you know okay well, how do you see us right now right I, f I feel like so much of the time i was talking with a friend about this um because yeah I, i've been and i've told you guys before i've been in this exact same scenario i've completely i uh, felt like people were just ready to, be, to, to abandon me like my entire life i was afraid my friends would abandon me all my relationships i was i was always afraid of them cheating abandoning me and um yeah i opened up to a friend about that yesterday um just kind of really coming to terms with that because it just occurred to me how much how afraid i, I kind of was of that and how i'm not anymore like i finally kind of got to the point with my friendships that i feel very 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 secure and uh, time will tell in the next relationship i'm in if i've got over that fear in relationships um but yeah it's just it's, it's a beautiful thing when you're just you're just okay and two people that are just okay can come together because when it's two people that are broken that are relying on each other for happiness and love and both feel like they're not good enough and they're both just waiting for the other person to betray them they're gonna constantly put up these shit tests to just ah, i'm gonna i'm gonna quiz you pop quiz every day to see if you're gonna abandon me and it's just that's just not a relationship you know and a lot of the time in those kind of relationships you're not in communication you're not you're not actually communicating your feelings because you don't, you don't fully trust the other person you, you don't you, know, you don't fully trust them again that you know why why give a pop quiz when you can just talk <laughs> you know what i mean like you don't feel comfortable enough to actually openly talk without it turning into a big fight right so that's interesting but anyway what are your top three favorite Av avril lavigne songs let me know in the uh, comment section down below and if you guys enjoyed the video definitely uh, consider giving it a like it really helps the youtube algorithm and that's that so i'll see all of you guys again tomorrow i love you peace